I'm here today because I believe that Julius Jones is innocent. I believe it down to the core of my heart, and I think it's important as a community that we come out and show up for him. This is amazing, and it's just amazing that everybody came together, no matter what background, just to do the right thing. I have a son just a couple years younger than Julius, and if something like this ever happened to him, I would hope and pray that other people would get involved to help. And we believe that God is a God of love, not hate. God is a God of life, not death. And what it means to love God and love our neighbors is to advocate for their lives and not their execution. Okay, Melinda, will you please call the vote? Kelly Doyle. Um, as I stated last month, I continue to believe that there is doubt in this case uh, in which the ultimate punishment should not be utilized. So I'm yes for clemency. And at this point, I am convinced that he is deserving of that. And my vote is yes for clemency. For the reasons previously stated at the commutation hearing, my vote is yes to recommend clemency. Yeah! So we need everyone um, to now turn attention to Governor Kevin Stitt. Uh, he is the one who has to make the final decision about what happens to Julius Jones. So we need everyone calling the governor. We need them uh, emailing the governor. Um, if you know the governor personally, we ask you to reach out to him and to ask him to please take the recommendation that the board has now given him twice. Take the recommendation of the Oklahoma Pardon and Parole Board. To Governor Stitt, um, you know, I just pray that he's on the right side of history. Um, there's a lot of eyes on this case, and he has the opportunity to, to give Julius a second lease on life, and so I pray that he does that. Please don't let Oklahoma execute an innocent man named Julius Darius Jones, who is my brother.